got the Parker Bates. Well, that's it. I've actually caught hey. common carp. Oh my word. Oh, I'm gonna turn this down. No. Wrong way. Go down. Good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Brian. Today I am back in my old stomping ground. I am at Partridge Lakes queuing up in the pouring rain at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, and I'm here to do a day session with Glenn and we're going back to where it all started. I'm going back onto Holbar Lake um, just to get a bend in the rod. Um, it's the beginning of March. It's absolutely freezing. Um, it's saying seven degrees in my car, but over the last couple of days, it's been absolutely freezing. Frost on the morning, really cold. Um, and from people that I've spoke to that are fish holder, all they've been catching is bream. So <laughs> I'm, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get my excuses out there now. So I'm not really optimistic that we're gonna get any carp, but obviously the target is carp today. Um, Partridge have put a load of um, high doubles and 20s. They've uh, stocked them into Holbar as well as the existing ones that go up to about mid 20s apparently. Um, so yeah, we're here for a day session. Um, it's absolutely chucking it down and freezing cold. So I'm phoning, I'm phoning. <sighs> See how tired I am. I'm uh, filming on my phone um, in my car where it's nice and dry. So next time you see me, I'll probably be with Glyn, uh, we'll be in a bivvy or in a bivvy each, um, depending on what peg we get. I'm hoping for the island on Holbar, which is my favourite pegs, but there's about three or four cars in front of me, just depending on where they go, um, it'll determine where we are. But as long as we're fishing, it's a last minute uh, decision to come out fishing on here. Um, I should have really stayed in bed, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll get all my gear out and rods out and next time you see me I'll be on the back um, and one thing if you want to tilt your phone if you're on a phone if you're on a TV don't try and tilt your TV but if you're on the phone please try and tilt it um, into portrait mode and you'll see a little subscribe button if you just press that subscribe button and the like button it really helps my channel to try and grow it I think I'm just under about 900 subs now I'm trying to get to a thousand that's my goal for this year so you can give me a quick sub I much really would appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you on the bank in about 30 seconds oh would you believe it I have actually got pegs 16 and 17 um, 17 is my favourite peg, um, so I'm going to take that one. Glyn's running a bit late, so he's on his way. Um, I've caught a load of fish off this peg before. This is peg 16, which I've cast up to this bit, and I've got a few. Um, I've got a favourite spot over here uh, where there was a cutout. I'll show you that in detail when I zoom in in a bit, but that's my favourite spot. I'm also, I was going to chuck one off the edge, but I think I'm just going to chuck them both far, to be honest, depending on my range and how good my casting is. I've not used a method feeder for probably about, on here, probably about two and a half years. So yeah, but there's actually no one on the island. The only people that are setting up are the people that are over here, uh, which obviously cast over to this bit and the other one's casting over the back here, but um, it's windy, but it's not too bad. The wind, I was watching the water, I've not seen anything show, but the wind is blowing down this end into this edge here, into this corner, so depending on whether anybody fishes there, if I see anything showing, normally off this point there's a few uh, jump as well, last time I fished it, but that's my hot spot, that's where I'm going to aim for. Um, I can't actually see where the margins come up. Um, the reeds, like when I used to fish it, it used to be quite tight. 
up to here and round but by the looks of it the right out here now uh, which is really far out you can see them just under the water there going all the way out to here so um, I don't fancy that as a cast so I'll try both of them far depending on where Glynn's casting to I might try one off my favorite spot there and either off these reeds is good or I'll probably try one off there so that's where I'm at I'm going to get all my gear set up because it's absolute chaos um, and yeah, I'm proper excited. I feel like a kid again. Can't wait. Well, good morning. <laughs> Finally set up on the pegs. So I did the intro before. So yeah, we're set up. Glynn's met, finally got here. Um, and we're here for the day session. Uh, we've just flicked our rods out. So I'll show you where we casted to in a bit. Um, it's quite mild today, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty mild. It's a bit of a wind, but it's, it's Bit right. of a wind. Looks like it's gonna rain in a bit. Um, but yeah, it's uh, not been here for over two years. When was the last time you were here? Probably three, four. Three yeah. or four, yeah. So we've managed to get pegs 17 and 16 on the island. Uh, as you saw, there was four cars in front of me. Luckily, they all went to the hut. Um, there must be matchmen. There's no one come onto Holbar um, when I got here. So I literally had the whole lake to myself. I've managed to get on the island. And then two people have gone a bit further down. Uh, but other than that, we've got the whole lake to ourselves. So uh, fingers crossed. If we can catch a carp. Any any target today? <laughs> I'd be happy with a bream. To with be the, would you? Yeah. I don't want a bream. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm blanking. Um, as I said before, they've put some um, high doubles and twenties in here, so one of those will be absolutely fantastic. Um, my target today is just to catch a double, um, which I used to fish a whole year for before I caught one, and now now I've uh, I've had two already this year. So that would do to me, and um, yeah, I'm back on method feeders, which is all alien. So um, I'll show you the spots where we're casting to, uh, what rigs we're using, and uh, hopefully it's a productive day. We can catch some carp. Fingers crossed. I'll see you in a bit. So now we're all set up. My rods are out, and I have got my left hand rod is over in the alcove which is over here this used to be here used to be a big alcove so that's where my left hand rod is and my right hand rod is off the edge of these reeds here so i've literally underarm chucked it out um both with method feeder, 8mm cell pellet, and I'm using a different mix today, so I am using, these are my cell pellets, and then I am using some, it's like a tiger nut mix, and there's white chocolate in there, I've also put some 4mm cell pellets, um, and then there's some cell liquid on there. So that's what I'm using from a method feeder mix. And then Glyn, this is Glyn set up. He's got a posh new GoPro. So you might see some runs from his GoPro. So you can see it's showing his rods there. And then he's got his rods. I think his right one's got sweet corn on it. Yeah, yeah sweet corn. And that's over near where that coot is. 
so it's in the hot spot where I used to fish to last time and then the left hand rod is over towards the far bank where that tree is what's on your left hand rod? Parker baits, fruit and nut and yeah we're the only ones on the island unfortunately it looks like it's going to chuck it down so I'm going to finish filming get in the bivvy but yeah we're here for a day session probably till about four-ish um, and hopefully we can bring you a couple of fish just not a breed when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right Even in the hard time You and I can weather any storm Well at least you just got that as your net in it Oh, you want to put it back? No, it's alright What's that? Oh, that's a lovely bream. I've not set my, um, let me set my uh, cradle up. Oh, you're just unhooking it in the net. Just unhook it in the, in the mud here. Eh? In the mud. It's a lovely bream, that. <coughs> that. It's normally about two and a half pound, that, I reckon. It's a dead heavy bream. Oh, it's all that. Lovely. Smell you later, bream. Smell you later. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> I've literally just had a drop back. I thought that was a bream, and then Glyn gets a bream. Is that the Parker Bates? What's that on? Oh, uh, yeah, a little 12 mil there. Is it a pop up or a wafter? Bottom bait. Bottom bait. Very nice, that Glyn. Well done. Nice and slimy. Well, he's in again. And it's. What is it? Oh, for let me get the net. Is this net big enough? No. You need a bigger one. one. You all right, you got it. Living the bream. Piece of sweet corn in its mouth. That wasn't me. Oh, it's gone. Are you letting it go? Yeah. Come on. I just don't want it on the bottom of my net. Oh, oh Glenn, your cat doesn't count as two catches. You do know that, don't you? Two fish, that Is that two fish? Yeah. That was rapid, there. that was instant. Milk in this. I've never seen anybody milk a bream so much in my life. Look at this. Careful, you got it. PB? No. Bream in the wind. It's against me today. <laughs> oh. A bit smaller than the last one. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. I'll let you uh, put that one back. Ooh. Is that sweet? Just sweet corn hooked on your hook? No. Oh, yeah. Very nice, that Glenn. Let's put his bream go.
I remember Midbarra. Oh, you bastard, I was filming you! So this is what I am using today. I have got an 8mm cell pellet and that's on a little banded hair rig with a size 10 hook and then that's going up to my 24 gram method feeder and on there I have got the um, tiger nut and peanut mix with some sauce, cell sauce and cell 4mm pellet and then I've got my usual rig tubing all the way up to my line. So that's what I'm using. I'm gonna get it back out. Well, I guess it's not a blank. It's worse. It's an absolutely disgusting bream. I absolutely hate them. Come on, off you go. Yuck. Oh, Oh, would you believe it? Another freaking bream. McGill is helping me. He's the bream specialist. Thanks, Glenn. No worries. Bream number two. Oh, man. Absolutely minging bream. Look at the state of that. Go on, fella. Off you go. No, not upside down. The other way. Come. Good lad. Well, he's in. I think it's a car. Took off like a carp. It's fighting well, isn't it? Why is this net dead, Lucy? Is it lock? Is it not? Dead, so shaky. Nah. Ooh. I think it's a car. <laughs> No pressure, but this is to rescue the channel, Glenn. <laughs> no pressure. 
No pressure. I wish it was barbed. What do you mean you're using barbless? Oh, I wish it was. I was going to say. I'm nervous netting this one handed. Come on. Doesn't want to come in, does it? You knows how cold it is. Fish. I'm not going to swipe at it. It's nowhere near ready, is it? Making a good account of itself. I don't think it's ready. Nope. Sorry. Those yeah. little ideas. Yeah. <laughs> it's when they come on the bank itself. There must be an undercut there or something. There must be. It's not, no fish is going to do that, is it? Mm. My word, there must be. Got it. Nice one. <sighs> the relief. Right, I'll just set my cradle up. Well done, Glenn. Cracking. Thanks, Get in. <laughs> Got a carp. Oh, not some time now. Well, I'm really offended because Glenn's caught this 8.4 pound carp. I guessed it at eight pounds, and Glenn said that's because you catch loads of eight pound carp. <laughs> And then I, my rod goes off and I get a minging bream. So as usual, Glenn smashes it, catching the carp, and I'm catching the shitfish. It's all right. Well done, Glenn. Thank Cracking you, mate. that. We'll get a quick picture, put them back, and uh, I'm going to switch over to a carp rig. It's too, too murky. I've not unzipped my front. Very murky. Very murky. Well done, Glenn. Hang on, what about the green? Oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> Ew! Open this sling! Yeah. Open me thing! I thought you were just going to lob it. No! Can't. It's all about fish welfare, Glenn. I'd lob it if I weren't filming it. <laughs> Got to let it go. You can be my bream releaser. Get that. <laughs> One sec. <laughs> There you go. Go on. Yeah, well done. Ah, cracking, Glenn. Nice one. <sighs> Bloody soaked. Look at this state of slime. Ooh. Cheers, Glenn. Nice one, mate. Nice fish, that. You being sarcastic? If you were being sarcastic, then. 
Did you hear that? It's a nice fish, mate. Freaking dream. Well, you'll see by the footage with the rod absolutely bent round. Thought it was a carpet, actually fought for a bit. It's another bream. It's a big one, that one. It's a 42 inch net, so it's a decent size. But it's a freaking bream. Come on, fella. Off you go. Off you go. Bugger off. Well, unfortunately, after that bream, we both got several more, but we didn't get any more car. It was nice to be back on Holbar at Partridge. In the summer, it's a really good runs water, and I'm sure me and Glyn will be back later on in the year. But at this time of year, it's really hard going, and with the intermittent weather, you just never know whether the carp are going to bite or not. Next week, myself and Glyn are going to be at Cool Acres Fisheries, a place that has 40 pound carp and up to 60 pound catfish. We both can't wait for that session. So as always, thanks for watching. If you want to follow me on all my social media, I really would appreciate it. Remember to check out Parker Bates and use code aquatic to get 10% off your first purchase. Hopefully you can follow me on my journey and I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.